Hello everyone, this is Chris Burns from Slash Gear. Today we're taking a look at a brand new device from Oppo. Uh, this is the Oppo Find 5 and it is coming out relatively soon. You'll be able to get it uh, across the ocean, not here in the United States, but we're going to take a look at it anyway. Uh, what we got here in the box is a screen protector right out of the box, so that's pretty cool. Coming from Queester. Uh, that'll fit right on the front. Now, the reason we're unboxing this is that it comes in a rather nice uh, bit of packaging. This is a relatively small company compared to some of the larger ones we see in the U.S. quite often. And uh, you're really impressed by how how nicely they put this together. And this is a single piece, actually a couple pieces of cardboard right here. Uh, inside you have this really nice case held together with a magnet. Pop it open like that. Inside we have the device. I put the cover back on here just so you can see it, so you can see how the bubbles on there. I've used this device before, so I put it back in so you can see it. Uh, inside, you'll be able to pull the device out, especially if you don't pop it out like I just did, but pull it out with this really nice uh, black on black paper. Inside, you have a little another package with your information about the device, and you have a pair of headphones there, or earbuds rather, USB cord, and a wall plug, like so. Now, uh, this is also branded. Oppo, so you know you're not getting something uh, low quality. This is really nice pretty much all the way. Inside here also, you'll notice that you get uh, you know your guide, but you also get some nice uh, Oppo branded NFC tags. So you'll be able to use the built-in uh, NFC tag uh, brander in here to make these work, and you can use them from that point on. So check that out. Last thing we're going to do is turn this on, and we'll have a separate video for you for hands-on uh, with the software. I'm going to press on here, let it go. Starts up like that. What you can see right here is a, a one microphone on the bottom next to your USB. On the left, you have your micro SIM uh, port here. You put in with the uh, you know little pop it out there, just like you would with an iPhone or with a a lot of the newer devices like HTC One. Over here, you have the power button as well. On the top, you have your headphone jack. Uh, the device is started up, by the way. On the right, you have volume up and down. Very simple. You can see that the glass goes up to the edge, and then there's this plastic bit right here. Uh, so it does appear that the glass is coming over to the edge, but this is just the plastic surrounding it. Um, the back, you can see you have your 13 megapixel camera. There's a second microphone, so you can be back facing for that, so you'll have noise cancellation that way. You have a speaker on the back as well. There's a couple of, uh, or maybe just one little pip here, so sitting, sitting up so that if you have this against the ground or against the table when you're playing music or something, it'll, it'll still be able to escape. You have two LEDs right here for flash. Those are really, really, really bright. So you'll use those, and it's not, nothing is replaceable. You can't pop this open or anything like that. There's also no micro SD slot, so you're using the memory that's built into the device. Right from the beginning, you can see that we're opening with a unique sort of screen, and we're going to be taking a look at this software in a minute. Take a look. <laughs> 